Hey everyone, Tarantula Dan here. I hope you're all doing well today. So very quickly before today's video, up here will be some information for the Southern Invert Show hosted by Invert Shows UK. If you have not been to one of these shows, this is the last show of the year for you to come along and experience what they have to offer. These shows have been absolutely amazing this year. I of course did the Northern Invert Show, the Western Invert Show and the Eastern Invert Show. And I had a great time, got some awesome pickups when I was there. And you know what, if you haven't seen it, Wait till the end of the video and check out the annotation or alternatively please check out the links in the description for Invert Shows UK and come along if you're able to do so. With that said everyone, thank you for watching, take care and I'll continue the video. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Trancha Dan here. I hope you're all doing well today. So I'm going to be doing a video today on a Spider-Man costume. I'm going to be doing a bit of a review for one. Now I've wore a couple of Spider-Man costumes in the past. I will just sit over here and put some pictures up on the uh, screen here. Uh, the first one I'll put up was me at the Western Invertebrate Show, which is uh, not the best costume, but there's a bit of a story behind that. Uh, the guy who was meant to have got it forgot and went on holiday messaged his mom and said, I need you to get a Spider-Man costume, and this is what she got. Uh, the thought was great, but unfortunately it's pretty dreadful. But then at the Eastern Invertebrate show, I was told again, here's a costume, go and put it on, and this is the costume that I wore, and it's actually a really good one, actually very comfortable, and I didn't mind walking around in this one, whereas the previous one, I didn't want to go out wearing it, and as soon as I was out, I wanted to get, get it off, as soon as possible. Whereas the second one, I could have wore this one uh, throughout the day quite happily and not minded at all, you know. Um, it might be at a, a future show, uh, who knows, but if you do see this costume at uh, one of the invert shows, it's probably me wearing it. And so because of the feedback that I received of people when I was wearing them, although these costumes are not mine, they do belong to uh, the Spider Shop, or you know, Lee Arden from the Spider Shop, uh, I thought I'd look at getting some myself. And I have seen some really good quality ones on YouTube, actual movie replica ones, which I would love to get one of those, but they're quite expensive. But then I saw an advert, and again, I shall move back over and put some pictures on screen of what I saw. So I was on Facebook and I saw uh, this picture of the mask. And the quality of this looks really, really good. So I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to look into this. So I went through the different steps and saw how it's described and the different sort of pictures of it. There's the uh, black one and the red and blue one, the traditional original Spider-Man one. And I had a look at them and read about it and it seems to be quite a good quality costume and I thought you know why it's on offer at the moment I will buy this and I can do a review for it for YouTube and if it's pretty good I can wear it for shows is pretty much what I was thinking you know so I figured with the money that I get from YouTube and my uh, Patreon and PayPal supporters people that do support me a huge thank you to you uh, I figured I would buy this and it would you know, be kind of amusing, I'll get a video out of it and maybe where it shows. So, it came. It came just a few days ago um, and I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll get the video done and I'll wear it. The only thing is, as soon as I got it out of the package, I immediately saw exactly what I got myself into. It's, this is how it's advertised and this is not that at all. So this is the bag that it came in. This was just in a uh, in another bag with my address on it. And yeah, quality wise, it's not looking very good. There is no th uh, gel print, there is no 3D. Straight away, the eyes, if you look at the eyes on this, uh, the white here is basically like if you are, like on men's swimming shorts, you have that, like the, the mesh in it. Uh, that is basically what the eyes are. It doesn't look very good. So, straight away I thought, well, okay, this is not going to be what I paid for. But then again, what was I expecting from a, face, you know, from a Facebook advertisement? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to try it on and see how it fits, I guess. You know, the more that I look at this, the more dreadful 
I think it's going to be. It just looks like such a cheap costume. Oh, well, let's get changed. Okay then, so firstly I wanted to show you this size. It is XL, as you can see. So let's open up, take it out. Uh, this is the mask, which straight away you can see looks nothing like the one that was advertised. And the body This looks like it's going to be too small for a child. I'm not a, a, a really tall guy, I'm maybe about 5'10", something like that. Um, but if I hold this up to here, the this part here, where the toes are, doesn't even meet my ankles. So straight away I'm kind of wondering if this is going to fit me, unless it really does stretch, but we will see. So yeah, this is a look at the front of the costume. Um, just printed, it's not 3D or rubbery or anything because advertised and the back is just a zip. I have to say the actual material does feel okay to be fair. Um, that's kind of one thing, although the actual way it's been made is really dodgy. Um, I don't know, the hand, I don't know if you can see where the hand is, it's not really very well done. It looks like they've sort of machined it really, really very good. Um, so yeah, let's just take the zip down. I don't think this is going to fit me. So, let's get it on, shall we? Just like to say as well, I am wearing motorcycle uh, base layers, just so I'm not sort of revealing too much, because um, I don't think you guys want to see that. So, this is the, the costume. <laughs> There is no way this is going to fit me. Absolutely no way. So I'm pulling my feet in as tight as as I can get them. I say I'm not a tall guy, but this is this is not going to fit me at all. <laughs> That's as much as I can get on. So yeah, the hand. The hand is all kind of twisted, it doesn't really sit right, as you can see here. Um, if I put this one on, as you can see that it's sort of, it's kind of sloped. See how the, how the fingers kind of, I don't know how well you can see it, but they kind of, it's not built very well. The left one looks like I've got a bent finger. Super stretch. Try like stretch and do it. Can't find the zip. Yeah, the zip is completely, completely broke. So, yeah, and the actual mask, of course. This is fantastic. So obviously as you can see it does not fit me at all. The most irritating thing about this is when I put the details in when I was buying it, I did actually put in what my height was, so I figured that they would use that to make it, but I mean even putting this right down. That's the thing. It, it doesn't fit, and furthermore, it doesn't actually look anything like uh, the one that was advertised, of course, which is a little bit disappointing. The body is actually all twisted, so I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like the like it's all round because of the fabric. Even though this is on straight, the hands are not actually straight on it either. Um, it's been sort of, I don't know, like you can probably see it more here, how it looks like it's it's twisted. Obviously I'm wearing it and it's sort of coming across. It's, it's not very comfortable at all. Obviously I will not be wearing this for any sort of shows. One thing I will say is that I can actually see through the, I can see through these really, really well, but then it is basically just mesh. So I would not expect anything 
anything else. So yeah, this is the one that I got in the post. I'll put a picture up here of the one that I was buying or the one that was advertised on the Facebook, uh, Facebook page, which as you can see, it's not really the same thing to be fair. So another thing as well, I, when I got it out, I straight away I was like, this is not what I paid for. So I contacted the company and very politely explained that this is not what I had bought. Uh, this is not what I wanted. There's no, there's no gel on this at all, um, and the sizing is genuine. Like this is, I could feel this trying to sort of like pop off enough to keep. I'm trying to to pull it back up to get it sort of a bit, a bit tighter. But um, yeah, I contacted them and just said, look, very politely that this does not. Um, this is not the same sort of product that I actually wanted to buy and I asked for a refund um, of course because it's just it's so badly made I mean the zip I don't know how well you'd be able to see the zip on this but it's just sort of it's not even attached to the bottom it just sort of came apart here and uh, the actual zip it sort of came off and so their response was um, I didn't hear off them for several hours and then the next morning so Friday morning when it came um, it came on Thursday uh, yeah it came on Thursday Friday morning I had uh, an email to say that my order had been dispatched and so they're sending me another one um, <laughs> I can unless they're gonna send me the one that they actually advertise which I can't really see that being the case uh, but yeah it's just you know, and I got this, this is cheap by the way, it was originally several hundred pounds and then it was reduced um, and then reduced again and reduced again and it's one of these buy now and in so long it's going to go back up to full price of however many hundred dollars or whatever it was, which is why I bought it and I think I ended up paying about forty dollars for this, give or take, and honestly I would not pay, I wouldn't pay five dollars for this costume to be fair, it's so uncomfortable and I don't think I don't know if you can really see it but like so the fabrics all kind of like it feels like it's all twisted round um, I feel like it's gonna rip you know it's just it's just not very good at least with the one that Lee had it was all in one you could pull the spider-man mask over the top zip down back of the head and then zip up the back and when I went to the changing rooms at the shows to try the costume on and uh, I was able to with one hand do the back zip and you know do both myself with this I couldn't I couldn't even get the zip part way up the back so uh, yeah <sighs> not really the best sort of costume to be fair um, I've noticed as well on the feet the actual web doesn't even line up. I'll just get my camera. See where like, the web doesn't even line up. It's uh, even on, on both feet. It's not really very good. But uh, yeah, and bearing in mind, I'm not wearing shoes or anything with this either. Um, it's just yeah, not really very good. And that's just ripped. I've just ripped something. I can just just hurt it. I think it's just ripping even more. So yeah, I just said about the ripping on it. Um, just bending down then on the back here where the actual zip goes, the zip is starting to come off and the actual fabric there is sort of ripping. It's just, it's crap. Uh, yeah. Not very good. The likelihood of me getting my money back is very, very slim. But uh, yeah, that's going straight in the bin. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful costume. Okay then, so back to being clothed. This is obviously with the costume. Like I said, it's it's not a very good costume at all. Uh, I mean, I know I get I did rip it, but that wasn't like. I wasn't trying to rip it, that was just genuinely like tearing like you'd like like the effort you'd put into turning the page of a book just a you know, flick of the wrist 
and it just tears so easy. If if children have this costume um, and they pull on it sort of too much or cord or something, it'd just be shredded. It really would. And I know 40 quid isn't really a massive amount of money, but or 40 dollars. But if you're someone that's buying this for your children for Halloween, it's dreadful. Really, really is dreadful. I've seen much better ones um, for the same price or even not much more, to be fair. So, I mean, it's just not as advertised at all. And the zip, I say, the zip didn't even work for me. So, um, I shan't be bothering to, to even try that. So, so yeah, not a very good costume at all. So if you do have a Spider-Man costume yourself, let me know in the comments below or tag me in a post on Instagram. Let me see how you look in yours. See if you can beat the one that I had at the Eastern Invertebrate Show. And uh, yeah, the company that I've got these from, I can't remember what they're called. I'll put a picture up on the screen or something, but not very good to be fair. Not for what you pay for them, in all honesty. And uh, yeah, thank you to my patrons because it's because of you that I bought this. I, figured it would be interesting to see how it would look and in all honesty um, it would have been okay but the quality just wasn't there so uh, but yeah so this was bought with the money they get off Patreon so I figured it'd be pretty cool and I'm not trying to be ungrateful by talking about this the way I am but genuinely it is not worth your money buying one of these and I am still going to chase and try and get a refund for this so yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this video, please let me know what you think in the comments below, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't already, feel free to share this and any of my other videos, of course if you would like to support my Patreon, I do have a Patreon uh, link down in the description, I'm going to be doing monthly private YouTube talks with just me and my Patreon, so it's a good way to interact with me and have a chat uh, with much sort of fewer numbers than what I get on normal live videos. And to be a patron will cost as little as one dollar so uh, if you're able to do so it would be greatly appreciated thank you very much and of course please stay tuned for the future videos i have some really really cool things coming up that i cannot wait to share with you all so as always thank you for watching everyone take care and i'll see you soon in the next video goodbye from me everyone take care